What's up YouTube and welcome back to some more of The Crew 2. This is an achievement slash trophy guide for picks or it didn't happen, which requires you to complete 40 of the photo opportunities in the game. There are 95 in total and basically these work as collectibles. However, you only need to get 40 for the achievement or the trophy and I'm going to be showing you 40 of what I think are the easiest opportunities that you can do so that you can easily get these out of the way and move on with the rest the game. I should also mention that these are a very good way of earning followers as well as money, especially if you are doing this early on in the game, so I would definitely recommend getting to this as soon as you can. The photo opportunities are broken across the four different disciplines, and we're going to start with the street racing discipline, and if you go all the way to the right on the discipline, you will find the photo album, and each one will have three different sets. We're going to start on the underground, and we're going to start with perfection. This one is pretty easy. All you have to do is get a hypercar in your home and take a photo of it. Next up, we're going to do jump around, which requires you to jump with any drag race vehicle. So basically, grab a drag race vehicle, head to a jump, and take a picture while your car is in the air. Next up, we're going to do drifting in the rain, which requires you to drift under rain with any drift vehicle. Do not worry about if it's raining or not, because in the actual photo mode, you can make it rain. So you can change the weather in the photo mode. You can also change the time of day, which will come up later on. But go ahead and change it to rainy and then take your picture. Next up, we're going to do round and square, which requires you to perform a donut in Times Square. You can do this with any vehicle. Next up, we're going to do Express Delivery, which requires you to drift through the Dragon's Gate in San Francisco with any street race vehicle. So this is the location here on the map. Basically, just head over here, drift under the gate, and take a picture, and you will be done with this photo op. Now with those underground ones out of the way, we're going to move on to road trip and basically road trip is just going to certain areas and taking a picture of a building or a specific place. So I'm going to leave you with the video for these next couple parts and I'll see you guys again when I'm needed.
Since we're at this cruise ship, might as well go into the pro racing discipline, go into the album for Elite Pilot, and do the Cruise and Go, which requires you to touch and go on the Key West cruise ship. You can do this in any plane, so you can do this nice and early on, and just do it right off the back of this fin thing. I guess it's an exhaust pipe, maybe? I'm not 100% sure what it is, but go ahead and get that one done. Next we're going to head over to Skylines and this is basically the same as the road trip section except that we're going to actual landmarks rather than just random things on the map. So I'm going to leave you again with this video and I'll hop back in when I'm needed. This photo op is the first opportunity that actually needs a specific time, so go ahead into the settings and you can actually change the time of day, so you can change it to nighttime or morning or whatever you need. This specific photo op needs you to change it to nighttime.
At this point, you can go back into the underground and do the Camaro Knight. At this point, you should have enough money to purchase the Chevrolet Camaro ZL1 for a street race car. And basically, all you need to do is buy it for 401800 bucks, and then just complete a burn and change the setting to nighttime if it isn't nighttime in your game and take your picture. Now we are done with the street racing section. We are going to skip the off-road section, go straight into freestyle, and go into the king of the hill. And we're going to do king of Egypt to start. Basically, these ones require you to go to certain landmarks on the map and then get on top of them. This specific one is the pyramid that is located next to the Las Vegas Strip. Next we're going to do King of the Hill and this is King of the Plant standing atop the nuclear power plant in a monster truck. This one's a little bit tricky because it can glitch out a bit and what I mean is what you need to do is you need to set the monster truck as your favorite vehicle so that you can easily switch over to it in the quick switch menu and you're going to need to fly over the plant then switch into the monster truck. Your monster truck will most likely crash into the side and then just be warped down to the ground, but you'll be able to rewind the footage and get your picture. It's a pretty stupid picture, but there it is. Our next one is going to be for King of the Rodeo, which is for getting your monster truck on top of the biggest cow north of Dairyland. So this one we're going to use the same trick as we used last time, although it's not as frustrating. And basically you just need to get onto the head of the cow statue and then take a photo. Our next one is King of the Pedal, and this is the first one that really requires us to do kind of a trick. Basically what it wants us to do is fly inverted over this boat. So go ahead and do that and change the settings as you need to in the photo mode and take your photo.
This next one is nice and simple. This is King of the Graveyard. All you have to do is fly over the plain graveyard near Big Land. Next up is King of the Valley. This one is a little misleading because it says that you need to stand atop the highest pole in Monument Valley. However, that is not actually true. You can do this with a plane and just kind of graze right over it at low altitude and you will actually be able to take the photo without ever having to land on it or drive on it or anything like that. Our final one in King of the Hill is going to be King of Wall Street, which requires you to wall ride with a monster truck in the financial district of New York. We're going to be using the same tactic that we used for the nuclear power plant, where we're going to fly up to this big building here that you can see I've been really trying to get this on. Another thing that's annoying about this is that it kind of glitches out your monster truck and throws it to the ground before you can actually do anything. The big thing you want to do is get up enough speed, make it so that your monster monster truck actually appears early enough and then just get your tires to touch the wall even if it's for a second and it will count for the photo. Now that we're done with that section, we're going to head to the pro racing discipline and we're going to go over to the photo album, of course, and then we are going to choose the official track. All you have to do for these is fly over the tracks and get an aerial picture of each of these tracks. So I will leave you with the video. Since we are already here at the Little Eagle Speed Drum, you might as well do the Elite Pilot Photo Op for Head Start, which requires you to perform a burn at the starting grid of Little Eagle Speed Drum. So go ahead and do that.
While we're at the Giants racetrack, you might as well get the Elite Pilot Album photo op for Low Blow, which requires you to fly above the finish line of the Giants racetrack with an air race plane. Now we're going to head into the Elite Pilot section and we're going to do Central Show Off which requires you to fly in high speed above Central Park with an Air Race plane. We are just one short of the end, we are still in Elite Pilot and we're going to do Under the Bridge which requires you to fly under the bridge near State Prison north of Detroit with an air race plane. So go ahead and fly under the bridge that is located just over here on the map and you will have that one done. Finally, if you found any of them too difficult, what you can do is head into this pro lineup one and do any of these. A bunch of them require you just to take a picture of a specific car, which if you go into the pro racing headquarters, you can actually take pictures of multiple ones. If the car is not already on display, like the car that I need over here already is, you can go like you're going to purchase the car, find the car that you need, or find the boat that you need, plane you need, whatever. Go as if you're going to purchase it, and just before you purchase it, back out. It will then put that vehicle on display in this area, so you can get a bunch of photos done here if any of them were too difficult for you. But that's all 40 for us. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and I hope it helped you. If it did, be sure to leave a like, comment, subscribe, share, favorite, all the fun junk, check down the description, some awesome links, some awesome things, my Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, Twitch channel, a bunch of other things you might be interested in. Thank you for joining me. Keep it here for more achievement slash trophy slash collectibles guides, more of the crew too, and a bunch of other things. Until tomorrow, ta-ra.